Hi everyone, welcome to a 10 minute tutorial on how to get started working with Bash. This uh, tutorial is meant for uh, beginners who are new to working with a terminal environment. The first thing that I'm going to do is open up a new terminal. And the first command that I want to show you is pwd. And pwd simply returns the uh, path to your current present working directory. And you can see that I'm currently under home and Jonathan. And this is simply my uh, home directory. The next command that I want to show you is ls. ls is useful for listing out uh, any directories that are available to you from whatever directory you want to point to. The So from my home directory, I have access to desktop, documents, downloads, etc. If I want to move over to any of those directories, I can simply use the command cd and then the name of the directory I will move over to. I can type in pwd again to see that I've changed directories and now I'm under desktop. If In order to move back to the previous directory, I can simply type in cd dot dot and you can see that now I'm back into the home directory. Now I'm going to move over to the uh, pictures directory and from that directory I'm going to move over to the documents directory using the command cd then dot dot forward slash documents. And you can see that I've moved over from pictures to documents on one command. And from whatever command or sorry from whatever dir current directory you're at you can move over to your home directory by simply using the command cd tilde to move over to your home directory. And now I'm going to use the command clear to clear the contents out of the terminal. Now in order to make this tutorial a little more interesting, I've downloaded some data from the site collegescorecard.ed.gov and I've downloaded a zip file and the contents of that zip file, or that zip file, was downloaded over to my downloads directory. So I know where it's located, but I want to show you a useful command for finding files that um, that you need. So the command find is pretty useful uh, for locating files, even if you don't know the exact name of that file. So I know the name of the file. Uh, that I've downloaded starts with college, but I don't know if college is capitalized, lowercase, whatever. And I don't know the entire name of that file. So I'm going to look for files that start with college. And I'm going to use this wildcard asterisk to simply allow me to do that. And now uh, you can see that I've located this uh college scorecard raw data zip file using the find command. And it's given me the relative path to the zip file, but if I want the entire path of that zip file, I can pass in a globe or a uh, environment variable dollar sign pwd to give me the exact path of that college scorecard raw data zip file. So now I'm going to move over to the downloads directory. And if I type in ls, I can see my zip file is right there. So from the downloads directory, I have my zip file. And in order to work with that zip file, I'm going to use a command unzip to unzip that zip file. So I'll type in unzip college raw data zip file. And you'll see now that the contents of that zip file are being unzipped. Now if I type in ls, you can see that a new directory was created. And that directory is called college scorecard raw data. If I type in ls college scorecard raw data, I'll be able to see the contents of that directory. Now, Say I want to move the contents of that directory over 
or that directory over to uh, the documents directory. I can use the command mv to move college raw data directory over to the documents directory. And now if I cd documents, change my directory over to the documents directory, and type in ls, I can see that my college scorecard raw data directory is there, and all its contents are there as well. Now that directory has many files, uh, but consider that I'm only interested in seeing uh, how many CSV files are in that college raw data directory. I can use the command ls college raw data and pass again pass in again that wildcard and now I'm going to look for files that end in .csv. And you can see that any files that aren't a CSV file were filtered out and I'm only viewing the CSV files in that college scorecard raw data directory. Now something useful that you might uh, need to do is copy some files. So I'm going to copy these files into a uh, new directory. So in order to create a new directory, I'm going to use the command mkdir to make a new directory and I'm going to call this directory uh, CSV data. If I type in ls, you can see that now my documents directory has a new directory called CSV data and that that directory is currently empty. So I'm going to recycle that previous command that listed out all the CSV files. I'm going to change ls and I'm going to use the command cp for copy to copy all those CSV files over to my CSV data directory. Now, if I type in ls csv data, I can see now that all those uh, csv files were successfully copied from college scorecard raw data over to csv data. Now, if I want to see how many csv files are in that csv data directory, I can use the command ls csv data and use a pipe to pipe that contents of that command over to word count and word count has a useful flag dash l which can count the number of unique lines now another useful thing that you might need to do is to look at some of those um, some of the contents of some of those files there are a couple of commands you can use uh, to do that you can use the command cat which will uh, output all the contents of any of those, any uh, file that you're interested in viewing, but some of these files are fairly big. So I'm not going to use that command. Instead, I'm going to use the command head. Head outputs a few rows of any file that I want to preview, but you can see that even a few rows can be a little overwhelming for my terminal. So this isn't something uh, that's neat and easy to look at. So a better command to use is actually less and with the option capital S. And now this command less allows us to view the contents of any file in a more organized way. You can see that I can scroll left, right up and down and my header of my file is a little neat and easy to look at. So although the head command wasn't useful for previewing the CSV file, um, the head command can still be pretty useful in terms of taking a sample of that CSV file that we viewed above. So what we can do is type in the command, sorry, type in the command head, then the name of the file that we want to look at, and 
head, again, we'll take the first few rows of that CSV file. And what I'm going to do with those few rows is, and we use this greater than sign to then pipe it into a new file called temp CSV. And that temp CSV is just going to contain the first few rows of that CSV file. And now, for example, if you don't want the uh, first few rows, let's say you want the last few rows, you can use the command tail to get the last few rows of that file. And if you type in ls, you can see that under the documents directory, you have that new uh, temp CSV file. And you can remove, delete that temp CSV file with the command rm. And you can also delete uh, directories with the command rm, but following it with uh, the command r for a recursive deleting of a directory. And so uh, one last thing that I want to leave you with is that you can view any uh, help options, uh, any command that you're interested in uh, using the command man and then following it with the command that you want to see. Uh, for example, ls, you can see that ls in addition to any options that you've seen here, has many more options and you can uh, read the documentation for anything useful that you might need. And so that's basically it. That's uh, 10 minutes with working with Bash. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you.